Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Victoria and I film from Lagos, Nigeria. Please do well to join the family and to my returning subscribers. Thank you for your love and support. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys don't mind my tongue. I just took vitamin C, okay? So ignore that. Right? So in today's video, we'll be talking about second trimester updates. Like every bit and every symptoms all of it that we have we had in second trimester in second trimester i'll be just telling you guys okay because we are officially in third trimester so we are going to be counting down in single digits very soon because tomorrow i'll be 30 weeks so we are in third, third, third trimester yeah so very soon like in two weeks we'll be counting in one digit okay i'm i'm really excited i cannot wait to meet this my precious baby okay <laughs> yeah so i have a lot of things written down here that i want to talk about okay so in second trimester there were some like in the at the beginning of the second trimester there were some things that i had in the first, first trimester that i still felt or that even increased or decreased in second trimester so we'll just be talking about everything in this video first thing first my face i don't know if you guys can see it i have like co discoloration maybe it's like pigmentation they used to call it i don't know i have acne but i don't know if you guys can see it see can you see my face like the camera is not doing justice and you can see i have my necks are very very dark darker than my face even i wonder how i'm not if my face is not even like dark like my neck but it's okay and also there are some other things on my neck like i don't know what it is maybe it's acne they call it i don't know see like some spots dark spots on my on my neck like down to my boobs area i don't know what that is so those came up in my second trimester so yeah and i had itchy skin like you guys you cannot see it in like it's not obvious in this video like if i show you guys you, you guys it's not really pronounced like i have itchy skin my skin is always itchy even my tummy i think that one is like common symptoms in pregnant women the itchy tummy parts but this skin one i don't understand but anyways let's move to the next one um i had a lot of pain i think they call it ligament pain or pelvic pain i don't know i had a lot of that which i think is also normal in every pregnant woman so mine shouldn't be different i also have leg pain like you know that kind of pain when you have menstrual cramp yeah i usually i still had one yesterday yeah and also pain at my back i think they say this contraction or braxing it i don't know i don't know what it's, it's called yeah i think i had i also had um i have braxing ick if i can say rubbish i'll put it on the screen yeah whereby your your tummy is so hard that it's not really painful and it's painful to be but it's not as painful that you will not be able to do stuff but it's a little bit painful i had i still had it yesterday so yeah that was one of the symptoms that i had at the beginning of the second trimester i was trained up which i did not really throw up in my first trimester maybe like three times but in my second trimester i tend to throw up like first few weeks which but now is now i think whenever i have malaria that's when i throw up because in this first trimester i've thrown up once again which i think is malaria so yeah so whenever i have malaria that happens so throwing up I threw up a little bit but it went away 
later. I also add nausea at the beginning of the second trimester, but it's later subsidized. Let's talk about it, like increased appetite. I've never well, the same for pregnant women do it when they are pregnant, but see, in this pregnancy, I ate. I'm still eating. I will still eat. Man, like I am eating a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Even in the church, they don't know me. Say this woman, they chop and they are giving me food in the church or me steady, like which I appreciate so much. <laughs> um, so the next thing again is salivating early in the morning before brushing. My God, I think I talked about this in my in my first trimester symptoms, like dripping glory. <laughs> like aside from the dripping glory thing, like once I wake up in the normally before before I go pregnant, when I wake up in the morning, I can still do some stuff before I'm brushing. But this one, once I get off my bed, I'm going to brush my teeth because I will not even get myself till I brush that teeth. I can't even eat anything without brushing. Like I must brush, brush my tongue before I do anything in the morning. Even communion that we take every morning, I must brush my teeth before I take the communion. Normally before I take communion before brushing, but now I can't. I can't put any food in this mouth without brushing. Okay, so that's that was one of the symptoms. Fatigue is going up and coming down sometimes i have sometimes it just reduced it's not stable and sleeping position oh my god i think this third trimester is just the pressure is the worst <laughs> but, <laughs> but second trimester like i like i'm still struggling with sleeping position right now i don't sleep on my bed I sleep on the couch because I did not buy a pregnancy pillow. I think if I had bought it safe, it would be a waste of money for me because it I will still not be comfortable because if I want to sleep the couch if I want to sleep on the bed, like I said, okay, today I want to even try to sleep on the bed. I have to, I will not use the normal bed pillow. I have to take the couch pillow like two and use it for my head then i'll use the normal pillow for the bed to raise my leg up that's what i do if i want to sleep on the bed but for absolute convenience i sleep on the couch <laughs> don't judge me this pregnancy that costs <laughs> and another one is pain okay i talked about the ligament pain and my sense of smell Top notch, but I don't have craving, crazy cravings. But my sense of smell, it's not like when I smell food, I'll be like, I want to eat that food. Like, no, but like, like if they are cooking in the fifth house, I can smell it and smell that food very well. So, my sense of smell is very heightened. And for cravings, I don't have mad cravings, like, no, just my normal craving akara, craving fried potato, fried yam, eban, okra. I ate a lot of this and I'm still eating a lot of it. And I also have, um, what do they call it now, food aversion. Now I've stopped eating ogono soup like I can't eat ogono soup, but ogono soup is my favorite food. Then, I mean my favorite soup. Since I can't take ogmono soup again, I switched to egg soup. Now I can't even take egg soup. Okay, so now I'm just taking okra soup. Yeah, like that is my go-to right now. Ever and okra soup. See, to so be as if they poured cold water on my body. The satisfaction I get when I eat ever and okra soup. Yeah, <laughs> so that's like one of my cravings that I love and also. Some food aversion I have still I can't eat catfish it's just like poison to me right now what other food aversions I think those 
three things are just my food aversion. Every other thing, I eat them. Okay. Then another one is um, swollen feet. Like I'm still dealing with swollen feet. Like when I sleep, I have to put my legs on the pillow so that my leg will be um, raised up a bit. So if I sit for too long, my legs will be swollen. And aside from swollen feet, like like at the end of my second trimester, like I find it difficult to stand for long. If I do, like the amount of pain I have, the amount of pain I have, like I will not even guess myself. I had a, I had a lot of body pains. I'm still having body pain in this third trimester, but I think it's kind of reducing. But second trimester, is it reducing actually? I don't know. But where shall be time? I'll get to know. But like once my feet hurt, I have a lot of pains, like a lot of body pains. To be honest, I've talked about itchy skin, I've talked about leg cramps, also shortness of breath, like normal in all pregnancies, I think. Yeah, so I had that. I also have dry throat and cough. I'm currently dealing with cough right now. You can see I'm sniffing, cough, kata. I'm dealing with that. I find it difficult to sleep at night because of this cough but i think it's going down i don't know second trimester my um tummy became bigger and uh, my boobs too are bigger obviously like i had to change my bra at some point because they are no longer my size it's not like they're no longer my size but the band is now tighter because i'm definitely bigger so yeah Nose congestion, I've talked about that. Leg cramp, swelling. Wait, you guys, can we just talk about how pregnancy deal with your emotions? I think people don't talk about that a lot. Like, I can count how many times, or I cannot count how many times that I have cried in this pregnancy because of wanting not most especially because of food when i don't get to see what i want to eat or if i don't have money or i cannot afford that thing i want to buy i cry like two times i have made a video when i am crying that probably i would upload this video i end up deleting it because i don't know i just don't feel like i want to upload that it's not like i am ashamed that Oh, my subscribers or anybody see me crying i just don't i don't just i don't see the need to upload it that's just it and also i noticed that people started complimenting me about my hair that my hair is growing longer and which i don't usually get i i feel like my hair was long even before i got pregnant but people I think it's just more pronounced now. I don't know. Yeah. And I had a little ass bun here and there. I think I had, I have, I had ad bun because of the food I ate at that time. It's not like something that was a symptom for me, but ass bun was not really something that I dealt with like that. But it came like a few times and definitely waste game. If you are pregnant and not give it, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is it possible for somebody to pregnant and not gain weight? I don't know. Okay, is there anything I'm missing now that I've not said? I'm not sure, but yeah, so that is basically all everything that I have felt in this second trimester, and also I, I forgot to mention, um. Feeling the baby move, feeling the baby kick, whichever one. At first, I was like, I am not feeling my baby move. Like when I was 20 weeks, I was like, I'm not feeling this baby move, kick, I'll be move, I'll be whatever they call it. And I, like, I'm, or I use flu. So I said it on one of the, their posts. And someone was like, someone replied and said, the, it's not like a big move at first. Like it's like a flutter move, 
Yeah, because every video I watch, they'll be like, when they were 20 weeks, 19 weeks, they felt the baby move. They never explained that, okay, this is how you feel. So it was, then I guess I got to know that it's not like you feel like a big key at the beginning. It's just like a flutter wheel movement you feel at first. And at the long run, as the baby grow older, you feel like those move you to you know that your baby is moving so yeah at the earlier stage of the second trimester i was having the flutter movement then right now right now this baby is active and i can feel my baby's movement whenever it moves whenever it especially when i eat something sweet they they disturb <laughs> yeah so that's basically everything that I have experienced in my second trimester. If there's, yeah, it just moved now. <laughs> so if there is anything I miss, or if if you are pregnant and there is any symptom that I didn't mention that you experienced in your pregnancy, or maybe you are not pregnant, or when you were pregnant and in your second trimester, some of the um, symptoms you felt during your pregnancy. You can let me let us know not only me like there there might be other pregnant women that might be you know reading comments like i will so let us know in the comment section let's interact and share our lovely comments in the comment section okay yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat and don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't subscribe if you haven't because we are about to enter this motherhood, like we are already in the motherhood journey. So you guys will be hearing a lot of my baby, this and that, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much guys for watching. I love and appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.